Okay, and now we just have to decide what to put on the top and the bottom here. So uh, to cancel the moles of H2, we need to put moles of H2 on the bottom. Uh, and our target, mm, I'm getting confused again. Uh, our starting unit is moles of ammonia. So to cancel the moles of ammonia, we need moles of ammonia on the bottom. And our target units is moles of hydrogen, which will give us what we want here. OK, and then what numbers should we put on the top and the bottom here? How do we know to put three on top? Because we've got moles of hydrogen on top and two on the bottom because we've got this down here. So a very common student mistake on these problems is that they try to do this in their head, they might end up multiplying by two thirds instead of three halves. So it helps to do this on paper so we know that we're getting the fraction in the right form. That's why we have to focus on the units so much. The units tell us what calculation to do. The units tell us what calculation to do. The moles of ammonia cancel. And then uh, two goes into four twice, and two times three is six. So that would give us six moles of hydrogen. So that would be six. Now, should this be a plus or a minus? This is a little tricky. Plus. Yeah, plus. This problem I set up to be a little bit weird, because um, I said we were using up the product. Now, you don't usually use up product. You usually think of making the product. Well, this isn't that weird. It just means the reaction is going in reverse. It's possible for a reaction to be written one way, but it's actually moving in reverse. So here we just have a reaction that's moving in reverse. We're getting less starting material. We're getting less product and more starting materials. Maybe it would be more realistic than if I put this with a double arrow to show it could go in either direction. Well, if we're using this up, that allows us to make these starting materials. OK, well, um, let, let's figure out how to get this number here then. So how would we work that out? So you could um, do the same starting approach. Start with four moles of NH3, and then put one mole of NH2 over two moles of NH3. Okay, so the fees will cancel, and what do we get? Two. Two moles of nitrogen, which is what we want. Pop some air now. Plus two or minus two. Plus two. It's still kind of loud out there. I think is that the. Uh, oh, there's noise on both sides of us. Well, yeah. Oh, it sounds like a, a, a radio or something's on. Is something yeah. on in your bag? Oh, in my bag. <laughs> is it, I'm so dumb. I'm thanks. I thought there was somebody, some annoying person out in the hall, but my camera just turned on. <laughs> Who's that annoying person? I can't stand that voice. Let's shut that annoying person up. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm glad you caught that. I could have done the whole session with mad at the guy in the hallway for making so much noise. All right, so here we get these numbers here. So what should these numbers be down here at the bottom? Um, 52 moles of N2, 62 moles of H2. 56. Right. Oh, excuse me, 56. 56. Okay, here's where it's important to know whether we're adding or subtracting. OK, by the way, I just want to point out that there's another way we could have done this to figure out the moles of nitrogen. We didn't have to start with the moles of ammonia. We could have started with the six moles of hydrogen that we'd figured out. Um, and we could have done a unit conversion that way. So you can convert from the change in the product to a change in the starting material. Or you can convert from a change in the starting material to a change in a product. Or you can, change, you can convert from the change in one starting material to the change in another starting material, or the change in one product to the change in another product. You can use the same conversion ratio approach for any of those. So it, it doesn't have to be one thing that's being made into something else. It could be two things that are reacting with each other or being produced together. Just for consistency so I don't get confused, I just I stick with whatever I use for my first conversion. That's probably a good idea on the test, absolutely. Yeah, OK. All right, so we saw how to. Thank <laughs> you.